New tonight, a four-decade mystery comes to an end. It's a story you'll only see right here on 11 Alive. Yeah, that's right, Jennifer. We have learned tonight, folks, the partial human remains found back in 1982 in Ohio have finally been identified by police as Frank Little Jr. He's the former songwriter and a guitarist. And they were able to make that discovery thanks to his brother's DNA. 11 Alive's Paula Searle spoke exclusively with his brother, who lives right here in Atlanta. She joins us live tonight with his story. Paula? There's few photos of Frank Little Jr. through the years, but what there's a lot of. We were uh, very close. We was a year apart. Are memories he shared with his youngest brother, Johnny, more than four decades ago. I had just started a new job, run into him, and I showed him my check, and he said, oh, man, that's a nice book. Congratulations on your new job. And then we parted. Johnny says that was 1976 in Cleveland, Ohio. It was also the last time he saw Frank alive. Six years later, partial human remains were found in a garbage bag behind a business southeast of Cleveland. Then this year, Johnny's cousin Ross did a DNA kit to trace his ancestors. He got that and a call from a detective. The detective, they found that the John Doe that they uh, discovered years ago matched my DNA. Johnny says the detective then called the Atlanta Police Department, who got a hold of him. They swapped my mouth. A couple of weeks went by, and then they called and said, he was your brother. Oh, I broke out crying. Crying in relief and horror after learning what happened to his brother, whose remains were found when he was in his late 30s. The detective told me that they found the head behind an abandoned building. 50 feet further is where they found the plastic bag. And he was inside the plastic bag, cut up. Johnny says Frank had two children and served in the U.S. Army, deploying to Vietnam. He also spent a few years playing the guitar and writing songs for music group The OJ's. The band went on and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2005. I'm grateful that the DNA proved that it was him, because I always wondered where he was, and I used to worry about him. Now, while the manner of death was ruled as a homicide by the coroner back then, there's still not a lot of details known about this. Johnny tells me he's not sure who could have done something like this. We have more on Frank and his legacy on 11alive.com. All right, Paula, this technology bringing a little bit of closure to so many families across the country. Thank you so much.